What's up? What's up? Ew. Eric FNP, yo. Today I am in the. Can't say where it is. Don't know the name. But today we are somewhere different. There you go. So, the Rayon. The Orbea Rayon. Bike check day. Uh, one of my bikes um, bought this, I think it was uh, early last year. Uh, I think I may have bought it. it I may have gotten it out of impulse because I kind of like the design, I like the look and then I saw the price, I think it was a very fair price uh, for which the parts were included for. So let's go for a quick bike check on the Orbea Rayon. I uh, can't remember which version it is but um, it's quite up to spec got a mishmash of parts um, I didn't do much to this one in fact it's uh, basically very close to stock actually. very very close yeah so let's go for a quick one can't stay out too long um, hope you enjoy this one let me know what you think of my Orbea and maybe you tell me what you think of yours hook me up catch me on Instagram or in um, the comments below Phew. So, this is my Orbea. As you can see, it's the purple blue, the so called brinjal, aubergine, eggplant color, whatever you call it. Um, mishmash of parts, but I think they're quite up to date. Uh, comes with the Fox 36 with matching colors, uh, very box standard wheel set, WTBI 29s. It did not come with um, uh, tubeless, yeah, so if you want to convert this, you can. This one here, it's tubes inside, uh, medium DHFs. Uh, these are quite nice to ride, they're the 2.5 WTs. Good compounds, um, I think it's um, up to scratch. 160 front if I'm not wrong and after which you've got your um, cockpit here which is the supercast uh, which I got uh, using the Orbea grips and after which it comes with an XT four pots and you've got your GX radar I did this on my own the Atom Lab uh, I got this um, from this bike company called New Era. It's a 35 diameter clamp, 760 length. Uh, good to use, very light if you ask me. It's extremely light, this one. It's, it's, it's a bit super light if you ask me. Um, it's only weighing in about 210, if I'm not wrong. So yeah, very carbon worthy um, handlebars. XT again, over there. See, and after which the stem is a turbine came with. I changed it slightly with a so called titanium uh, screw over there. You can see it's slightly different. Comes with a race face dropper post and lever. There you go. That's your race face. Uh, Sella Italia's uh, Sorry, I got cut off over there. Uh, Sella Italia's carbon over there and after which DPX2's Kashima for some reason don't know why so here is the 150 rear I understand that they've made this link over here 160 haven't got the time to really read about it as well as uh, take a look uh, see if I would like to increase the rear travel but when I change on this I've got to change this one so again it's Dosh Ah, over here, the crankshaft is standard, descent. Ah, I did change the um, 12 speed chain though. This one would be the gold ones from KMC, if I'm not wrong, if I recall correctly. I changed my rear tires to the Minion SS. It's like this tire, I think it's good. 
wet. Not so, but in the dry, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite pedals, uh, cheap and cheerful Fire Eyes Candy. Uh, XO1 Rear D, so GX front, uh, well, GX shifters, but mated with an XO1 Rear D, so I think that's um, an improvement. I did change the rear though, this one is a standard Annex 12 speed cassette. Uh, didn't add too much to the weight because I had the requirement for another bike with the GX. So that one is going to go over the other side. And then right now I'm going to take a look at the XDs. I don't know, maybe these XDs, the ones here, are not done up properly yet, not bled properly or whatever it is. It doesn't really bite as much as I would like for it to bite. I've had XDs before and just dual parts, those bikes and uh, I did change them to cool stop center pads as well those really bikes, this one's a bit soggy maybe the bike mech who did up his bike for me didn't do it properly or maybe it's just me being lazy not wanting to do anything about it but yeah, overall I like this bike I think it's a nice bike it's quite heavy though um, overall the weight came up to be approximately 14.3 kilos over here yeah 14.3 kilos so in a nutshell reasonably good bike maybe a bit too much travel for Singapore I haven't tried this anywhere else for the fact so I wouldn't know but today's downhill section looks like a nice one so let's see how this one goes today and uh, thanks for watching this bike check subscribe Click the bell, do what you want to do. I would like to hopefully be able to grow this channel so that we can talk about all the bike checks as much as possible here in Singapore. Well, until next time, take care. Thanks. Stay safe. Bye.